Mr. Sorry. Yang, your, your signature policy is to give every adult in the United States $1,000 a month, no questions asked. That's right. Uh, I think that's like $3.2 trillion a year. How would you do that? Sorry? How would you do that? Oh, so it's difficult to do if you have companies like Amazon, trillion dollar tech companies paying literally zero in taxes while they're closing 30% of our stores. Now, we need to put the American people in position to benefit from all these innovations in other parts of the economy. And if we had a value added tax, even half the European level, it would generate over 800 billion in new revenue, which combined with the money in our hands, it would be the trickle up economy from our people, families and communities up. We would spend the money and it would circulate through our regional economies and neighborhoods, creating millions of jobs, making our families stronger and healthier. We'd save money on things like incarceration, homelessness services, emergency room health care, and just the value gains from having a stronger, healthier, mentally healthier population would increase GDP by $700 billion. This is the move that we have to make, particularly as technology is now automating away millions of American jobs. It's why Donald Trump is our president today, that we automated away 4 million manufacturing jobs in Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. And we're about to do the same thing to millions of retail jobs, call center jobs, fast food jobs, truck driving jobs. The value added tax would end up, um, you'd still be increasing the buying power of the bottom 94% of Americans. You have to spend a lot of money for a mild value added tax yeah. to eat up $12,000 a year per individual. So for the average family with two or three adults, it'd be twenty-four dollars to $36,000 a year.